Thales today, one-on-one -on -one with the star of Oppenheimer. You may know Irish actor Killian Murphy from the British series Peaky Binders or movies like 28 Days Later or one of the many Christopher Nolan directed films that he has been in. What's the attraction with Killian and Chris? He's the best. I mean, he's he's kind of phenomenal. He's he's one in a million. I think he's he may be the perfect director. You know, he can he's, he's brilliant with actors. He's a brilliant writer. He's amazing visually. He tells stories unlike anybody else, and he tells them on this huge canvas. But yet they're really emotionally engaging. Um, you know, I, I I started working with Chris twenty years ago, so it's it's been a massive part of my um, part of my life, and this is our sixth picture together. Do you think there are uh, some lessons to be had in addition to learning about Oppenheimer himself, some lessons to be learned uh, for those of us today that are worried about nuclear war, mm -hmm. uh, the arms race, the possibility of all of this, what it means today? Yeah, um, I actually believe that films should ask the questions and not give the answers, and I think this is what the f film does. It's not prescriptive, but it does provoke. Yeah, he is sure to be nominated for an Academy Award for his role in this. More with Killian Murphy a little later on. Oppenheimer is in theaters now. And uh, leave it to somebody to find a mistake that was pointed out in the movie. There's a scene where Killian is surrounded by people waving American flags problem is that those flags have 50 stars on oh, them. Oh, wow. Did they caught that? The events in the movie happened in 1945 when there were only 48 stars. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are they thinking there? Uh, I mean, uh, really, Christopher yeah. Nolan should be ashamed of yeah. it. Yeah. He should just quit. I, I take back everything good that I've said. <laughs> yeah.